Hi everybody, welcome back. Hope you are all well. Now, if you go down to any campsite today, I'm sure that you will see caravans, motorhomes, uh, awnings, gazebos perhaps. Maybe you'll see a barbecue or two. Maybe you'll see a flagpole. One thing you'll definitely see, however, is an aqua roll. The aqua roll is a British design classic. It's designed and manufactured here in the UK, and it's been around since the early 1960s. In fact, have a look at this very early commercial back from 50 years ago. Use the aqua roll. The children will do the job and love it. Connected to a pump on the caravan sink, it gives water on tap, and it also pours beautifully. Manufactured by Dobbs Brothers and Hitchman Limited, Nelson Works, Greets Green Road, West Bromwich. Well, there you go. That's quite interesting, isn't it? I'm not sure about the children loving it and uh, enjoying it. I've tried myself to get my kids to enjoy getting the water. Nothing can be further from the truth. Now, as you could have seen from the footage, uh, the aqua roll nowadays is a little bit different. But by and large, the plastic version that we know and love today hasn't changed for decades. So I thought, well, in this video, let's go through the aqua roll. Let's talk about how we can look after it. Let's talk about some of the accessories that you can buy for it and certainly share some hints and tips with looking after and using the aqua roll. So let's start the video by taking a look of what you get in the box when you buy a brand new aqua roll. So in the box, you get the aqua roll, the handle, which is split into three parts and a filling tube. You get all the essentials that you need to get going. There are a couple of extras that you can buy. They're not essential, but they are worth considering. And I'll cover those off a bit later on in this video. So right now, let's fill it up. To begin with, assemble the handle and connect it to the aqua roll. So a top tip here for connecting the aqua roll is to connect the top side first, then slide the other half of the handle in the groove of the bottom of the aqua roll and then hook it in place. Let's get to the tap. We can uncouple the handle, lift it up and attach the filler tube and start filling. The aqua roll will take 40 litres of water to fill completely and this can take some time depending on the pressure in the tap. So whilst we're waiting for it to fill up, let's take a closer look. The aqua roll has two caps, one on the lid and one on the side. You can use either of these to fill up with water and as you can see I tend to stand mine up and use the one on the top for filling up but I also use this one for resting next to the caravan as well. The one on the side has another use and I'll show you what that's for later on. So back at the caravan we disconnect the handle from the aqua roll, stand it up and submerge your pump and that's it, you're ready to pour water into the caravan. Keeping the aqua roll clean is a really straightforward task. Official advice is to use bicarbonate of soda to keep it clean, but I've got a better solution. I use PuroClean. Not only will this clean and sterilize the aqua roll, you can also use it to clean and sterilize the water pipes, the taps, the water tanks, anything that contains fresh water in the caravan as well. Now for a video on how to sterilize your water pipes, click on the link in the top corner and I'll show you how to use PuroClean. When you're packing away, have a damp cloth to hand to wipe the exterior down and remove any mud, grass or rain from the exterior of the aqua roll. You'll be surprised how mucky they can get. So just make sure it gets packed away empty and is as clean as you can possibly get it. I mentioned earlier that there were some improvements and accessories available and here is my top selection. First up, if your water pump curls up whilst in the aqua roll, you can buy a pump connection kit that acts as a sleeve and forces the pump straight down. This is great if your water pump coils around and never touches the bottom of the aqua roll, and we have this exact issue. Click on the link in the corner for a good example of a bad water pump. If you're visiting a service pitch, you can buy a complete kit for attaching to a mains water supply. The side cap is removed from the aqua roll and this float is inserted. A hose then connects onto the outside and then onto the main supply. Water is allowed into the aqua roll and the float switches the water feed off as soon as enough liquid is inside the aqua roll. Possibly the best accessory, although it's the simplest, is a bag. It means that the aqua roll never gets the insides of the caravan dirty, caused either by mud on the bottom or marks from the rubber tyres. The aqua roll is contained in its own bag for safe and clean travels. Now in our case, we find that the bag is also big enough for us to store the electric hookup cable in as well. 
Now we do this because it's easier to transport the electric hookup cable, it's a good place for it to store, but when it's time to connect the electric and the water up, I've got everything I need right there and then in one go. Okay, so finally, here's some top tips for using the Acroll. And if you do have any, please put them in the comments below for everyone to see. But here's my top tips. If you're leaving the aqua roll empty for any length of time, leave the cap of it to reduce the risk of odour buildup or water becoming stagnant. Of course, next time you use it, give it a quick washout and in case anything has crawled inside whilst in storage. Now, I previously mentioned updates to the filler tube and one of those is to connect a hose connector to one end just in case the on-site tap has a standard hose connector. The other improvement is to make your own filler tube, which is universal. A link to that is in the top corner. Now my final tip relates to the service pitch kit and how to get the float lined up perfectly vertical. The first step is to attach the fitting to the aqua roll as tight as we can. Then mark with the marker pen or blob of paint the very top of the cap. We can use the aqua roll join line here to know exactly where the top of the cap is. We'll use this as a reference to align the float in the next step. Secondly, remove the cap and then align the float with the mark on the cap. And that way, every time we put the cap straight back into the side of the aqua roll, we know which way is up and we know that the float is aligned perfectly and will work every single time. So there you go. I hope this video has been useful for you. All you ever needed to know about an aqua roll. I'm sure there's things I haven't covered. I'm sure there's aspects that uh, you would love to interject if you know. And if you do have any hints and tips for other caravanners, you know, put them in the comments below. Share amongst the community. After all, that's what we're trying to do here, isn't it? So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon as well. And until the next time, guys, many thanks for watching. Have a good day and we'll see you next week. Take care now. Bye bye.